Please don't be swayed by those who would seek to put you under law, either to be saved or for your life in Christ. Don't be swayed from the simplicity in Christ to be brought under their bondage. Jesus fulfilled the law. You are not under it. The Mosaic law was only for Jewish people and only for a limited amount of time, and it never saved anybody, even then. Gentiles were never under it, but many cobbled together some partial version of law and put themselves under it. They don't properly establish the law. They cheapen it. They have cheap law. They can't envision any morality or fellowship with God apart from the rules they live and die by. Dying, they shall surely die. They think that, as long as they try to keep it and are sorrowful enough, that the law will serve them, but they are wrong. I think it's the natural state of the mind to set rules and then keep them and break them. A mind that is naked and guilty, trying to clothe itself. An unrestful state, in desperate need of a savior. Those who have put their faith in Jesus are no longer naked and guilty. Jesus has clothed them with his righteousness. It is because of this that we can have a different hope, a different mindset, that the Holy Spirit will breathe life into us apart from the law. The law, properly established, should bring someone to their knees, desiring to live under the grace of God every moment of their life. I've heard some people say things like, their thoughts don't count as long as they don't act on them. But Jesus made it very clear that your thoughts do count and make you just as guilty under the law. Every single thought counts. If your mind and actions aren't 100% perfect, 100% of the time you've failed. Choose to live under the grace of God by faith, by trusting in Jesus, in the finished work of Jesus for you, by trusting he has made you righteous, by no doing of your own. Some choose to put the cart before the horse, and they've proceeded to try to push both the cart and the horse up the hill. They do the same things that the world does to try to help themselves. They do the same things any number of non-Christian religions and even some atheists do. The wisdom of man doesn't believe God or trust God. But you have faith, believing God and trusting him to do a good work in you, in your mind and in your life, not by your own striving and power, but by his power, trusting that Jesus has you always, trusting that the Holy Spirit is guiding you and leading you to grow in the knowledge of Christ in you. Being at rest in Christ is about more than just being assured of your salvation, that you'll go to heaven when you die. To be at rest in Christ is to cease from your own labors and to trust Jesus in your life today. Romans 8 For the creation was subjected to frustration and futility, not willingly, because of some intentional fault on its part, but by the will of him who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself will also be freed from its bondage to decay and gain entrance into the glorious freedom of the children of God. I pray that God will minister the peace of Christ to your mind now. In Jesus' name.